Welcome back everyone, a special welcome to you new viewers. Hopefully you're going to become subscribers and of course always happy to have my subscribers back. Tonight I'm doing something a little bit crazy. I'm going to be making beef brisket in a slow cooker and I'm going to let this thing cook longer than most people cook a slow cooker. Most people cook I think max of maybe eight or nine hours. We're going to let this cook until tomorrow night's dinner. So you're talking 20 some hours give or take. Um, let's jump right in. I've got one red onion, just kind of chopped up, real rough chopped, nothing special. And there's also one yellow onion in here. You can see that, that's the white without the purplish color on it. You gotta have bourbon. I like Makers. Use Jim Beam, use whatever you want. This is for flavoring, this is gonna help break down the connective tissue, which is the key to brisket. You gotta cook it slow and low to break all that tissue down and then you'll get a nice juicy cut of beef. If you cook it fast, you're going to get hard, dried out meat. If you cook it too long, it's dried out meat. Okay, uh, we got some Worcestershire. We got liquid smoke. This is hickory. And uh, we've got some beef stock. So, some bourbon for the cook, some bourbon for the brisket. This is a half of a cup of Maker's Mark. But again, use whatever bourbon you want. Two cups of beef stock. Make your own, buy it in the store, whichever way you want to go with that. Two tablespoons of minced garlic. Again, you can mince that all up to your heart's content. Or if you're like my wife, you just buy it in a jar and it's much easier that way. No effort. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And finally, two tablespoons of our liquid smoke. This is going to give us a nice hickory smell and flavor similar to what you would get if you slow roasted this in a smoker uh, over hickory. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, beef brisket. It's about a five and three quarter pound brisket. And I'm going to get that put in here and we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like in the pot. Alright so there's our brisket. You can see that it's filling up. This is I believe six quart. So it's filling up pretty solid. This is regular uh, ground black pepper. Again, you know, if you're a stickler, grind your own. Um, but I'm kind of lazy. It's okay if there's a little bit on there because this is going to cook slow and low. And this is a fat cap, so it's going to seep in. This is kosher salt. You can also use sea salt. I wouldn't use table salt. You want something with a little heavier grain to it. Same idea. Okay, that's really all there is to it, for now at any, at any rate. Um, we're going to cook this uh, until I get home from work tomorrow night. And then tomorrow night we'll come back and we'll finish this recipe up with our side dish, which is going to go right in here with this. So let's uh, tune back in 20 hours, give or take. See you then. Alright everybody, it's been oh, probably about 23 hours, give or take. I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what's going on inside. As you can see, a lot of the juice from the meat itself has combined down into that mixture of beef stock and onion and bourbon. You can also see that it's fallen apart, uh, which tells me that this is good and tender. I got no worries there. And I have plenty of liquid, which is important because the finishing touch to this is our side dish of collard greens. These are fresh collard greens. It's three bundles of collard greens that I just got from the grocery store. Uh, and I'm just going to pack this full, force them in, and I may, it may take me a couple to get it to push down in there. Um, we're going to let it cook for about an hour and a half, and then uh, the greens should be good and tender, and they'll have that flavor from the smoke and the beef and all that stuff. Uh, so it should be really good and tasty. So we'll be ready to eat this in about an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, so we'll be back then. All right, so it has been a good hour for our greens to cook down, which you see they have. We're gonna let those stay in because we wanna rest the brisket for about 10 to 15 minutes before we actually cut it apart. Now, as you saw, it's already full apart. 
I'm just going to put it in this bowl and let it rest. <laughs> what we're left with in, in the bowl, or in the uh, pot rather, is the greens and the onions and the awesome jus that we made out of uh, the stock, the beef, and all that other good stuff. We're going to let that cook for about another 10 minutes just while this rests. Like I said, 10-15 minutes. We want that to rest, let everything finish off. We'll cut it up and we'll be plating up when we come back. All right, you can see there's still some nice heat coming off of this, but this has been chill, uh, chilling for a while just to let it settle. And this is pull apart, so this knife really isn't needed. It just falls right apart, as you can see. And we're gonna lay this right on top of a nice little bed of mashed potatoes. And with that, back into our delicious jus. And we're just going to scoop out some of this delicious greens. Right down. And that is a plate that is good enough to eat. Uh, as you can see my boys uh, were so excited about getting ready to eat that they just couldn't resist. So, BJ and Liam you know the drill. Hopefully you do too. Give this a try at home. Let me know how it turns out for you and let me know what you think. Otherwise you know the drill. Subscribe, share, like, comment below, and check back soon for the next video. And Take see care. you next time. And see you next time. Bye. See you next time. This is my Bye. Time. Go like that. Peace yeah, out. There you go. Peace out.